Chi Ray here, finally, and actually directed me for your pie hole. <laughs> The beer poker, and I'm your host Adam. You know, we have the beer here, and today we're gonna review a beer that I'm actually really quite excited about. It. It's actually in the LTBO magazine, you know, the holiday one, and uh, I didn't even realize they were doing that. And uh, they also did a beer from the French Vanilla, I think it was French Vanilla, Presto, that was too bad. Anyway, it was one of the popular ones, and it looks like, I don't know if they cut that one out and put this one in. This, which was, I don't know if it probably, uh, Pecan Pie Porter, that's what it is. It's a Pecan Pie Porter, they hit from the Gobble Trouble Room, and as, if you don't know, they actually uh, brew at the Wellington Brewery in Guelph, Ontario. And the tea right here. Finally, and actually delicious beer for your pie hole. Our pick and porter has a rich toffee and coffee aroma. We follow up with a strong malt backbone, leaving your dollar with a dry pick and finish as a treat. Cheers. Now I'm really kind of curious about this, so. so this is probably in the LTBO now. Uh, it's starting to like, I got this uh, last week. And it looks like they just put it out because there wasn't any label yet. But I found it. And I was like, well, I gotta get that. So, let's get into it. Get in. And pour. Add the porter, pour. Add the typical porter. There we go. That's more perfect. A typical porter right here. You got your lovely good body here, really black body here. Then you got your mocha top, the heavy here. Yeah, that definitely smells like nutty coffee and a little bit of coffee there. It actually smells quite nice. All right, here. Now I've heard that some people say that it was way too sweet. It's a very nice beer, very nice water, very smooth. It's definitely, definitely dead, the malt, but you're getting a lot of good chocolate in there. And you follow that up with a little bit of a coffee in the background there. Uh. Very nice. So this is actually uh, about one step for them there. And it's not as sweet as a dog, but it's actually quite nice, really smooth, and it's very good. Um, I would definitely would get a couple more for sure, uh, and then keep them for the cold winter night. And I highly recommend this. I, I love this though. About half an hour, 45 minutes after I cook it out of the fridge. Um, I didn't want it to be like really ice cold because I think it might just take away a lot of the flavor and, and I can tell, definitely can tell a lot of the gut chocolate can be a little bit overwhelming once you break open it. And yeah, it just comes out over trees and whatnot. But anyway, uh, so that's the pecan pie pointer and I'm going to have to give that one a 3 out of 5. Um, it's a nice pointer, good pointer. Decent porter, um, it's a great way of getting a uh, customer to take a look at it and be like, hey, pecan pie porter. And we did have a little bit nutty on the appetite, by the way, on the finish there, but. Again, the pecan pie porter, I took that one three out of five. It's a great porter, it's a good porter. Um, it's not all that perfect, but it's a hell of a porter. So, cheers.